Hola, ¿cómo estamos YouTube? Aquí tenemos el Key2 Max. Hey, what's up everybody? How's everybody doing? So, how's everybody doing, you guys? The moment is finally here. The moment that we have waited for so long, you guys. Okay, let's go right into the, into the business. So these two work hand in hand, you guys. If you guys just bought this, okay, that was kind of useless buying this because what this is is a programmer and a key cloner two and one you guys and you can even hook it up to your key cutter okay really amazing let's unbox this let's get to the point and there's that mini obd2 okay they go hand in hand you guys like i said if you just bought this you just pre-order this or so bought this it's useless without this right here All right, you guys, so we went ahead and we turned on our key to max. And we're going to tell you the disclaimer. We'll go ahead and agree. Okay, let's agree. All right, so right off the back, you guys, this is not, it's a little bit like the BBDI key to the original one. Okay, let's go through it. As you guys can see, we have our selections right here that we choose. Okay, we can choose our mini OBD. We, we go on this option where we're about to program a key. Okay, IMMO, as you guys can see, we have Acura, Buick, Cadillac, Chevrolet, Dodge, Ford, GMC. Okay, basically, when we're going to program a car first, we always go to, you know, read a pin. Okay, for the GMC, for the newer models. Okay, uh, for Nissan, okay, we're always going to read the pin. If you guys have the auto pro pad, it shouldn't be that hard to use. Okay. As you guys can see, let's go to Toyota. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and select from, we're gonna select from type actually, type is better. And then we go to IM, IMMO system, transponder. Okay, as you guys can see, we have the 4C, 4D67. 4C gives you a manually, you can do it manually. As you guys see, we have type three, which is a G chip, H chip, okay. You just click on it and it tells you what to do, okay? It, it gives you the, the description. Key programming, there must be a main key to clear all. So you must have a master key, okay? So let's go back. All right, you guys. So like I said, Toyota, Subaru. As you guys can see, all these news on the most, you know, domestic Honda, of course, you guys. Okay, select by type. Okay, we have IMO system and smart key. Okay, down here. All right. All keys lost. So basically, you guys, that's our programmer side, the mini OBD. So that has to be hooked inside your car. This has to be hooked inside your car. Okay, and then you press the select so you can connect. You turn on the Bluetooth, you know. Okay. Or or if, if you don't want to connect it via Bluetooth, inside the box, they send you a cable, okay? They send you a cable. This is some good, you guys are with me, yes. So this cable has both small ends, as you guys can see, okay? One goes to the key tool, and the other goes to the mini OBD tool. Okay, let me take this out for you guys, so you guys can see how it works. Okay, so like I said, when you're connected to the vehicle, you can either choose to connect it Bluetooth. When it's in the vehicle, it should power on. The light should go on. Okay, blue, red. Um, if, if if you don't want to do Bluetooth, you can turn it off. And like I said, you can put the, the information cable, okay, from the Bluetooth. As you guys can see, it's me. Okay. Oopsie daisy. I really just got this and I'm breaking it. So that's what we can do, okay? This, this, the um, eight IMO box, all keys lost, okay? We can do that too for chip A8, okay? But that's for an adapter. I believe we need an adapter for this. We need another adapter for that. Okay, collect testing data. Okay, so we have to connect to the internet for that. Vehicle diagnostics function, it's coming soon. Maintenance light reset is coming soon, okay? So let's go back to the key tool, okay? 
now let's see what we can do vehicle remote so like um like i said we can we can um we can do universal remotes okay as you guys can see we can do proxies okay for the audi the proximity key which is a smart key okay let's see what else we have let's go to chrysler these are the remotes again once again you guys we can do smart keys okay proximities then we can do these okay the wireless remote that's what supports it it tells you okay that you need a wireless remote in order to program these these wire remote you can do these okay for universal you guys it's telling us if we have these but in universal form that's the way we can do it this one only wireless remotes can do it this one wired remotes okay why because these over here have the chip solder on them already so when you program the key the remote portion programs as well not these these are separately these you can have a separate programming so you have to program the remote and the key okay so these have the ones that have a separate programming you have to use a wire remote okay so that's that's a nice thing right there you guys we can make universal remotes okay we can do garage remotes you guys okay we can clone remote okay as you guys can see it's telling us to put the remote right here and start clicking it okay all you gotta do is choose your remote this is just a frequency to read the frequency but we will go to like special clone okay and then we'll start clone and it's telling us to press the lock button so we'll get in here press the lock button lock button and then it'll tell us press the lock button and then we would you know hook it up either wireless or use our information cable that we hook right here to the universal like my videos check them out you guys it's almost the same thing okay so we would do that like that and then we would um press um you know collect it all the data and stuff whatever but so let's go back now we can also generate transponders you guys if we don't have a transponder like let's say i don't have a ford transponder like 83 because 63 i can just clone it, you guys if i go to id 63 ford i can just clone this chip okay i don't have to necessarily program it. it takes me a long time the one that i do have to um program a lot is that i can't really program offline would be the id 83 okay this is the one that i always um generate and i would program to the vehicle because i can't really clone it okay so i would generate that chip on the super chip and then program it right here with this okay on the obd transponder clone like i said you guys can clone transponders you go ahead you press this button you put the key in here it reads it okay and you will press clone okay you guys special functions you guys it has the same it has a special function like the vbd aikito original we can um renew the remote i believe we could renew remote with the splice cable but they didn't send it they didn't send it with this but i believe we could do it okay it tells you the adapter okay shows you the diagrams on here so on the bbdi key tool that i have it doesn't show you the diagrams you guys but this one it does show you the diagrams okay right here it tells you how to connect the diagrams and everything that i didn't have on mine so that's something else also the programming i am a more program i didn't have it on the original okay these are all remote renew so you can renew your remote with an adapter play that they sell separately okay you have to buy those ignition switch coils on the detection signal takes a the the signal coming from the ignition okay a super transponder set type of bbdi bbdi special transponder unlock to your smart key special 4d turn a 4d to a, a, um, a 4c turn a id 63 chip to id 83 okay these are both ford id 83 will be for newer ford id 83 will be for older models okay we can detect the remotes bbdi remote repair calibration remote ch charge battery icid clone for those special like passes that you open the door with you can clone those okay that's a nice feature as well later on we're going to be getting more into this and going more specific so that you guys can learn how to use it as well okay this is the revolutionized you know um cloner key cloner and programmer okay but like i said in order to have the programming this programmer working you have to have the mini obd2 if you don't have this like i said it's useless these work hand in hand together you guys and 
we select, you know, first, but I'll make sure that you always connect it. If you don't want to connect Bluetooth, like I said, you have the wire, okay? So just make sure it's connected and then you get into your settings, whatever you want to do, okay? Also, the key cutter, you guys, you guys can connect it to the Dolphin, as you guys see right here. First, we will turn the Bluetooth on, on Dolphin and then go right here and turn on our Bluetooth so that we can connect it. It would read the machine, as you guys can see. It would read it. And then we'll go right here to the vehicle database, look for vehicle. We could use the cut by bidding, okay? Universal key duplication, okay? We don't have this data because we don't have this machine, but we will soon, okay? I'll make a video soon, you guys. We can do all keys lost, okay? It will follow up with us and show us, okay, what keys we need, how many cuts it has, okay? But yeah, basically, you guys, um, right now, I just went through this. Okay, we also have the store on here. In order to go in the store and buy tokens or shop or whatever, you need to be online, okay? You can do that by clicking on the settings, um, going to WLAN, you know, WLAN connection, and we would connect, okay? And then we go on our store and shop, okay? Or want to develop special remotes or products, news, you know? Or online service, they can also help you, you know? But you have to be connected online. Uh, most, when you're cloning a key, when you're cloning a transponder, um, it's also, I recommend you be online. So, you know, just so it can go more smoother, you don't mess up the key, the customer's key. Always online, you guys. So when I say online, you have to have, you have to have a hotspot on your, on your, on your cell phone and connect it right here, okay? connect the Wi-Fi from from your phone to this okay that's the that's the safest way to do to do the the transponder clone okay that's the safest way everything else you can do in offline okay you guys so thank you guys for watching if you guys like this video and help you guys out make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel like I said we're having new videos coming out soon we're gonna be showing you how to program keys all lost keys using the max tool okay all right, so to obtain your mini OBD2 and your Keto Max, go ahead in the description below and click on the link, you guys. If you guys have any questions, make sure you you email me at lilroxx001 at yahoo.com. Anything you want me to answer for my next video, drop it in the comment section below or email me and tell me. Any, any questions that you have about the Max tool, let me know, okay, you guys? I'm here to help you guys. Till next time, you guys. Take care.